Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken, this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two Run, and we are indeed trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with only two soldiers per mission. Uh, time for a supply raid, I would say. It's a very difficult one with losts, and losts always mean a lot of fun. Um, however, we are deep in the territory of uh, the last Chosen, so I was considering taking Zirkin and Randman, and uh, since the last uh, Chosen might be there, I'm almost torn whether or not we should um, use a mine shield. Let's try this setup for now. I haven't had much um, time to fight against the last uh, Chosen. One thing's uh, certain, the um, immunity to melee attacks definitely makes it less likely that we're going in with our um, with our Templar Hogbite. On the other hand, this Chosen is the only one who's constantly using normal sh uh, shots with his rifle in order to uh, in order to hit you. <clears throat> so per definition, uh, he will deal uh, dish out a lot of damage. So naturally, two things come to mind: uh, a Either you deal an incredible amount of damage in a short um, uh, amount of time, and that's really kind of the uh, Renman strategy. Just move next to him, uh, shotgun, to a rapid shot, chain shot sort of uh, deal. 14, 15 points of damage each time uh, that it hits. And you kind of get him down from this angle, or uh, you save all of uh, the cooldowns, and you basically like slowly whittle him down, um, having Hogbite always up in his face and using parry in order to kind of um, bait him into into using his normal um, shots against Hogbite. Hogbite with the quick draw ability would have the chance to um, shoot once per round, and the pistol or his mini Uzi is uh, is quite good um, after it's fully upgraded. Uh, like he deals 5 to 8 damage, so <clears throat> nothing to sneeze at, but certainly not um, in the slightest comparable with the damage that Renman could do. On the other hand, Renman only has a touchable whenever he kills something, and that's not a given either. Okay. This looks like an interesting uh, setup, to be honest. Uh, if we go all the way up here, the reason why I'm double moving is we still have uh, the ability to uh, to hand over um, action points with advanced teamwork. Just want to see if we might use the high ground here to our advantage. <coughs> The answer is yes, and it's a bit laggy, uh, which tells me there are a lot of uh, losts uh, within the map. Zirk and Renman certainly profit massively from high ground due to the um, death from above ability. So let's again use that to our advantage. Okay, a lot of lots of alien activities. So far, we are still concealed, so I'm not sure if we're going to see the chosen one. What I am pretty sure is, it's it's still a slow start, but I can absolutely ensure you, once we start to trigger the enemy, this here is going to explode. This is going. Uh, this is having the potential for a massive, for a massive slaughter. Might as well go over here and have a flanking shot, shall we? There's a second balcony. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. No need to ask twice. Apologies. So we know there are enemies down there. Uh, the counter uh, or the timer for the actual crates will not start 
until we lose our concealment. So it's still a good uh, option for us just to to double check where we might want to position ourselves. That's affirmative. We've got a hostile squad here. Okay. It's the first squad of hostiles. Might as well position ourselves over here. Full cover, and we can get to the balcony. Yeah, I figured that there would be really a lot of enemies down there. So we're seeing Elite Spectre, um, a trooper, stun lancer, captain. And once you see the enemies, they spot one another out. Three codices over here. <laughs> okay, this is definitely going to be in a very, very um, explosive start. Okay, good. Solid start. So we can see all of them. Perfect. And I am also wondering... If we were to place a grenade down here... Where would we be able to put it? Yeah, probably over here. Yeah, we would destroy one of the crates, but that's okay. Told you it's going to be an explosive start. Starting to deal with the enemies. One down. Yeah, yeah I think that's uh, that's going to be a kill. He dodged the ninety-nine percent shot. Okay. Before we use advanced teamwork, let's consider our options here. I'm going to pull the other pack by moving to here. What's over there? Yeah, really no surprise. So let's run and gun. Run in and that way we can advance teamwork. Which means in this case here. We can set up the Elite Spectre. It's okay. Um, I figured uh, that he might not be able to kill it completely. And to be 100% honest, I also wanted um, the kills here on Ranman. Uh, so he gets his untouchable. Check it before you get too close. 
very very solid damage so <clears throat> this gentleman over there is in a pretty good spot it's probably going to mark us and take a shot but we're untouchable so i'm wondering if we're going to waste rapid fire on him it's two shots first one can get rid of cover second one may be able to hit him two times 25 it's not exactly 50 percent but it's at least worth a try there is the cover break yeah i'm not terribly concerned we still have a really good position and we do have chain shot left over, so no problem. There's the Chosen. <coughs> so many choices. Immunity to melee damage. Why would you have that? So little time. He only has 60 hit points though, so he... You could... Once you get to hit him, you can hit him quite hard. That's one of the Elders Chosen. Gonna make things easy on us. Let's try to take care of it as quickly as possible. All right, finally, I was waiting for them to uh, to be triggered. Beautiful. Two of them decide to stay in half cover. That's exactly where we would to, uh, want to have them. And a Lost Swarm appears. Hopefully around the Hunter. It would be nice if, uh, if they would attack the Hunter for once. All right. There we go. Well, that's a big swarm. But since we do have uh, the between the eyes order, we can kill every single one with them in one shot. And some more lost. And some more losts. I told you, once we are triggering, the entire map will be triggered. 20 plus enemies. Out of curiosity, can't see everyone there. This, however, seems to be a fair position. Okay, let's start, I would say. We 
we have three shots. Might as well make them count. One other option is... Yeah, we don't have enough ammunition for it. I was thinking about just exploding the car here, uh, forcing at least this codex to separate. The other option is to move here and grapple hook up here or here. But that's a maybe up here. Certainly can see most of them. Sort of curiosity. No, we can't grab it over here. Let's move up to and prevent the lost ones from entering up here. So we're blocking the stairs on the balcony. From here, we might as well be able to grapple over here, which is not a bad option as well. Ninety-eight percent. There is a chance that they are indeed dodging, but this chance is very slim. We could grapple over and stay up here, but that would be a very aggressive position, almost requiring us to kill the other two. We're down to one ammunition now. So if we were to take on Reaper, I'll make it quick. we still can use Rage Strike, which is good. You sure you know how to it? So unless it is minimum damage, should be able to kill him in one strike. We're just going in, basically slamming him and right afterwards slashing him. Renman is not really afraid about uh, the enemies, specifically the ones down here, because he has Bladestorm, he can kill every single one of the lost easily. Game is slowing down quite a bit, which tells me there are too many enemies on the map. Once we get rid of them, it'll be much easier. Okay, there we go. Moving over. That was indeed minimum damage. But I'll continue with uh, just slashing him. In worst case, we're not killing him. <coughs> but this here is just a psionic bomb. And we have uh, Bladestorm, so we can kill both of the, the others. There we go. Proper damage. Like it. That's it. Eleven to twelve points of damage, which is not enough to kill. Um, but we do have emplaceable, so might as well position ourselves here. and get that crate. Oh my gosh, it's slowing down quite a bit. If you say so. Good 
marking the supplies, and this here could be a one-shot kill. Pretty likely with a high crit chance. Good, we're reloading. I need ammunition on Zirkim. So the Chosen was in, uh, so far pretty tame, um, his shots shouldn't be too much of an issue, we do have a lot of mobility to evade them, so he's just tracking shot for now. <coughs> for us that means we just need to be kind of moving. And we need to clear out the Chosen, because uh, this is just getting a bit too crowded in here. We have the Swarm upstairs, we have at least two or three packs down here. No wonder that the map is slowing down, it's, it's about 30 enemies just running around. So for as for the original enemies, I mean, I, we had 21. I'm not sure how many of uh, those were uh, lost, but we have killed three in the first pack, plus two in the second pack, plus three in the third pack. So we're looking at uh, eight advents that we have killed, most likely two more packs. So many lost. <coughs> All right, come on, speed this up a little bit. This uh, kind of reminds me about uh, one of uh, the legendary Iron Man runs that I did really far back in the time where uh, we played with uh, three times uh, the, uh, the amount of enemies. And the main problem why I didn't want to continue uh, with that was it really um, took a long time just to go through all of the turns. I don't know if it's just my PC um, or if the, the engine just does not support 40-50 enemies at once. It feels that this here is not a graphic rendering issue, it feels the AI needs to make a logical decision what it wants to do, and that just takes a lot of time. I got it right. <laughs> and at the end, they're just running up to Renman and die, anyways. It has to be dead. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Metis 1 5. I think this year is a solid um, <coughs> compromise by standing in the middle on top of this truck. We cannot um, be directly reached and Renman can start just clearing up the entire map. Alright, time for some kills. Luckily, we have Superior Expanded Magazine. 
<coughs> because this year will take a while. Six of them down, reloaded. Let's continue. It's number seven, eight. Nine. Ten. I'm just imagining uh, him with like this big ass gun on the mini uh, mini van going completely ape shit and killing every single zombie of course we are missing the last shot 94% just so that we do not um, end up with um, with a full magazine i was even considering am i taking that 94% shot Paranoia was uh, setting in. Is it worth it? Easy. All right, let's slowly but surely move on. I think we've just killed 11 loss, but there are still more coming. Which speaks to the immense vol, uh, uh, the immense amount of loss. Correction: We've killed thirteen because two of them already ran into the blade storm last round. And some are fourteen. All right, Renman reloads. Takes a hundred percent shot. This will give him implacable, which is a nice extra movement. All right, come on. And I think we can go for another round of killing all of them. So that's 16, 17, 18, 19, and finally number 20. Good, pretty solid pack. Reload. Um, Renan here takes an overward shot. Could have saved that one crate, by the way. All right, all of a sudden. The enemies are much faster. With little to no loss in here. Everything speeds up quite a bit. If you say so. Renman moves. Taking a nice little conceal. Moving. OK. 
Okay, seems fine so far. You can see that the Chosen is down there, but we're concealed. He might uh, start taking normal shots now. That's dangerous. We need to be careful. The priests are actually pretty... Formidable opponents. Let's get this over with. Luckily, we do have a mind shield, because elsewise, this would have been GG. We need to get him out of cover, that's for sure. And we need to do something about the priests. I think the priests are first priority. The loss are helping us here, hopefully. Yep, they are surrounding the priest. We still have run and gun, which is very helpful for us. I guess that'll be okay. Ah, wait. Let's revive uh, Zirkim. Alright, Zirkim is this is still disoriented, which is really bad. So we can't do much with him. Our original plan to flop a grenade, like let him drop down here, kind of doesn't work anymore. We know downstairs here is another um, another Advent priest. Let's maybe start with killing this lost here. Getting our um, full movement back. And hmm, I'm wondering. I think it's not a bad idea. We we'll just move to here for now. The disorientation will end next turn, so Zirkin will definitely come back. Problem you. currently is that he's still disoriented. So let's deal with the loss. The ones that are fighting against uh, the priest back there are okay. The ones down here need to die.
Okay, so far that worked out well. You know what? I think we might just stay up here. Reload one more time. Just get rid of the majority of enemies here. And then I think we can get him shredded. And that's pretty much it. Moving Zirkim to here, into full cover. Hopefully he, uh, the Chosen will focus on Ramnan, who has Death from above, and um, who also does have um, Untouchable, so that shouldn't be a problem. Mind uh, control is indeed not a problem. Stasis, however, would be. Okay, cool, yeah. The cho uh, if you're uh, choosing to stasis the lost, that is fine for me. Yeah, single rifle shot into... Oh, okay. Well, that's fine as well. Even more lost. Might as well let the priests fight against the loss downstairs. They don't bother me all too much. Yeah, that's another blade storm. By the way, beautiful positioning of Renman. Everyone who would uh, come up this ladder takes a takes some tech. The elders have never offered up an entire planet as a bounty before. Still disoriented. We should probably should have um, should have um, let him stand next to Renman. Anyways, we can still deal with the situation. Moving a bit closer. Ah, uh, that's okay. Let's just get untouchable. Okay. Moving over here. And let's reload plus rapid fire. Let's see if we can deal some solid damage. Unfortunately, dodged. And dodged again. Cheeky bastard. Seventy percent is good enough. He dodged a third time in a row. Okay, so getting him down fast seems unlikely. The longer I think about it, maybe Hogbite is the better option, right? Because think about it, we just used um, we just used rapid shot. Point blank, mind you.
Unfortunately, we got our untouchable taken away. So this might hurt. Storm. <laughs> the lost one died in a fetal position. Okay, so the other lost one is already dead. We, we just don't see it yet. Good. That'll take care of this guy. Um, odds are not good enough. I'm wondering. This here should should let him drop down. Which is 6 points of damage plus 4 points of falling damage, so sort of 10 points of damage. Oh, I forgot he was... He was afraid of being grenaded. So that's even more damage for him. Getting a bit closer. We got our own grappling hook. Unfortunately, we also triggered another pack. Let's get untouchable. Ah, of course. Let's try this again. Untouchable. Enemy eliminated. I hope you're not expecting me. Any four percent chance. Let's go for it. There we go. So yeah, he's no pushover, that's for sure. I'm beginning to understand why the elders find you so interesting, Commander. Your little crew does He's not a pushover at all. We showed the chosen that the resistance is here to stay, Commander. Now we just have to find that thing and put it down for good. I just want to make sure we're getting, uh, we're killing the priests first. Because the stasis um, and the mind control still can mess us, mess us up quite a bit. Untouchable. Yep. Very good. I'm taking fire. There's the blade storm into sustenance, right? Yep. As always. God, I hate sustenance. Can't kill them immediately, and you always put yourself in an exposed position.
Well, hello there. That could be a kill, but it's not a secured kill. This here, on the other hand, will get us out of line of sight. We're get, uh, going for untouchable. We go and let us start hitting the priest here. All right, reload Overwatch. This priest is going to die. Superior Agility is a pretty nice PCS. Alright, this guy here was just moving away. Mind Control sucks because we need to deal with it. Yeah, but this mission is doable. Like we only have an Archon. Question is if we're um, if we're going to do it flawless or not. The Lost will probably just run to Renman. If I may take a wild guess, every single one of them is going to die. Renman moves outside. Takes a 100% shot to get untouchable and replaceable. Goes up here. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Takes a single shot. Yeah, the Archon is not an automatic uh, hit. This guy here will be, however, a hit. I got it right. Good to go. We're getting some more untouchable. That way, the Archon cannot hurt us. Next turn the grappling hook is ready, so even if he would be blazing pylon, we can just get out of it. 
Time to reduce uh, the amount of enemies here. Okay. That's the last of them. Reload and let's kill the Archon. Oh boy, even more. Okay. Let's get some untouchable. Renman. Good. Zirkim gets some untouchable as well. Plus clears up everything here. It's one. Two and three. Moves a bit to here. Still does not seem to uh, see the Archon downstairs. Maybe the Archon is positioned over here and it's just a graphical mistake, yeah? And it seems to be that way. Overwatching. And that should be GG. <laughs> 60 enemies, oh my gosh. Wow. Lots and lots and lots and lots of kills. What a lengthy mission! So my takeaway from The Chosen is uh, we will not have losses in the mission against him, so I think it would be a false sense of security to assume uh, that we uh, that we would get untouchable every single time. He can dodge, even though we have a hundred percent chance to hit him, which makes it really difficult to burst him down fast. Yeah, so I'm not 100% convinced yet. It's always exciting when someone defies expectations. As for the next mission, I think we're going to do a storyline mission, just to progress the storyline a bit more. And I think we're going to do that with Dragonover and that Galleon Poe. That, however, requires that both of them are no longer tired. Let's get the Grenadier going. Let's check our armory real quick. Four more days for Edgar Galleon Poe to no longer be tired.
Oh, that is bad. Poison fire eyes, full immunity for one month. Central. Use the skull check on a codex. That is exactly what we were, um, what we were try, uh, what we were waiting for. Can't continue researching here. I am ready to begin on your order, Commander. But we might use our, our time to research some advent data pads. Okay, definitely want to do the black side facility soon. Let's wait until that Galleon Po gets back. Okay, maybe he is already back. And then it would be a good time to start. Yeah, at Galen Poe is ready. So I would say it is time for another storyline mission, guys. Let's get ready. I'm looking at you, Blackside facility. We're looking at Priest, Trooper, Spectre, Mutant, Sectorport, Heavy Mech, Purifier, Lancer, Codex, Archon. Okay, that's pretty much every single enemy in the book. Which also tells us it's just one uh, per, because we are fighting against 16 only. For the next mission, we are going to go in with Edgar, Alien Poe and Dragonova. Might as well give her the benefit of a doubt uh, with uh, mm, blue screen rounds. It's just difficult, which means the Chosen is not going to show up. Um, yeah, and that's going to happen in our next um, episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please uh, stick with the series. We're almost done, guys. I am excited. We are uh, probably going to do it, so that's really, really exciting. Um, on we go to the next mission very, very soon. So take care and have a lovely evening. Bye-bye.